Let's talk about why the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 is the most impossible thing to get right now and it's completely sold out everywhere you look. First of all, you look on Amazon, it's completely sold out, you cannot get one unless you wanna pay two or 300 pounds above the price to get it. You look at Curry's, which is an electronic store here in the UK and it's completely out of stock across the entire country. You look on the DJI website and you've got an estimated shipping time of a month after you order it. And I know that because I ordered mine a month ago. Now, at the time of making this video, it's due to arrive in the next couple of days. And hopefully it arrives and you can see a lot of videos coming up of unboxing and reviews and stuff like that. But right now, it's not here and I ordered the thing a month ago. And it is just impossible to get. But why is it so hard to get the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 right now? Well, let's have a look. So the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 released to the market in November 2023. And since then, it has absolutely been wiped off the shelves by creators, filmmakers, and anyone who makes any sort of content. And the reason for this is because this is a product that previously didn't really exist in the market. Now, of course, you've got action cameras like the GoPro and the DJI Action 4. You've got, you already had the uh, DJI Osmo Pocket 2, but the problem was is these didn't really have big sensors and didn't produce great quality content. Don't get me wrong, they're perfect for what you need and they're usable content, but what makes the Osmo Pocket 3 so unique is that it has a one inch CMOS sensor. And for those of you that don't know what that means, what it basically means is that it's a bigger sensor than any other action camera that's out there. And it just produces incredible footage that rivals that of a professional mirrorless camera. So let's look at the two different sides of what you've got for people that are making content. First of all, you've got the professional filmmakers and photographers. Now those people are gonna have professional mirrorless cameras like a Sony or a Canon or something similar to that. And like myself here recording on my Sony a7 IV or they might have a Sony ZV-E1, something like that. They're gonna have lenses to go with it. They're gonna have all of the filmmaking gear. So they've already got the equipment, so they're gonna use that to then make content with as well, right? That makes sense. But then you've got the people that just wanna be creators. They just wanna be vloggers. They just wanna make content on the fly while they're out and about. And they don't really wanna walk around with a professional mirrorless camera on a big tripod or a gimbal with a big microphone attached to it that looks a bit um, out there and conspicuous. You're gonna draw attention to yourself. What they want is something a bit smaller. So most people will resort to just using their phone or other people will just use a GoPro on a little stick or a little tripod. But the reason why the Osmo Pocket 3 is so good is because it bridges that gap between a professional camera and a smartphone or something like a GoPro. And it still produces great footage. Now, if you look at side-by-side -side videos and you can do this yourself, go on YouTube and research the Osmo Pocket 3 versus professional camera. And I'll be doing some videos of this myself. But what you will see is people side by side with something like a uh, Sony ZV-E1, which is a full frame professional mirrorless camera, and then they'll have the Osmo Pocket 3 next to it. And if you're a professional videographer or photographer or filmmaker, yes, you can notice the difference. Yes, you can notice that one is more professional than the other. But to most people, to the naked eye, to the average consumer watching YouTube, most people can't tell a difference. You can't really tell if you're just looking at them and you had an A and B side by side. They look that good. And that is where the Osmo Pocket 3 bridges this gap. So let's quickly look at what you're gonna, like what the difference is. So if you're gonna get a professional camera, say for example, you're gonna get the Sony ZV-E1, which is the most popular content creation uh, mirrorless camera right now, that is gonna cost you around $2,000. Then you want to get a lens to go with it. Now you can get a lens for about 500 or if you want to get a really top end G, G Master lens, you're looking at a couple of thousand. But let's just say you're going to spend around a thousand dollars on a really good lens to go with it. Then you're going to potentially want to get a gimbal so you have all the really stable and smooth footage to go with it. And that's going to be about $500 for, for a professional gimbal. Then you're going to want a microphone because the in-camera audio is okay, but it's not the best. You're going to want professional audio. So you're either going to get a shotgun mic or a wireless mic. That's going to set you back about $300. Then you're going to need memory cards to go with it to store all your footage on. So that's going to be about another $100. Then you're going to want something like a handheld tripod if you want to just stand it up somewhere on your desk. Or if you don't want the big chunky gimbal and you just want to walk around vlogging with a vlog style setup so you can get something like this that's about a hundred dollars then you've got to think about other batteries and accessories you're going to need for it which is about another two hundred dollars so all in all you're spending well over four thousand dollars 
just to get a vlogging setup, just to get a professional vlogging setup. Now I've said in previous videos before, if you do that, it's a great investment and it will take you a long way and you will undoubtedly have the best of the best footage. That will be best in low light, you'll have the best stability, you'll have crisp, amazing looking video with great blurry backgrounds and the best audio. But most people don't want to spend four thousand plus dollars just for a vlogging setup especially as i said before if you've got to walk around with this big camera on a tripod with a big microphone on top that just looks a bit conspicuous when you're out and about and just draws attention to you the good thing about the osmo pocket is it has all of those things for anyone that just wants that vlogging setup and isn't a professional videographer and just wants to do vlogging and make family videos and make content on the fly as the name suggests you can slip it in your pocket you can slip it in your pocket. You haven't got to worry about carrying all of this camera gear with you. You can literally just put it in your pocket, go out and about, go for a walk, and when the mood strikes you, bang, you can just whip it out and start making a video. And the great thing about it is with the Creator Combo, it comes with that one inch sensor, which is gonna give you amazing quality video, and it's incredible in low light for the size of it. It is absolutely incredible. It also gives you a built-in gimbal, so it gives you great stable footage. Now, from what I've seen in the reviews, it's not perfect when you're walking in a straight line because it doesn't have that Z axis, so for bobbing up and down, but it's, it's, um, it's usable as long as you're careful and you walk slowly and, and everything, it's perfect, really. It's still really, really good compared to a, a $500 gimbal on its own, as well as the camera and everything. It also has something that every cam professional camera doesn't have, which is active tracking. So as you're walking around holding the Osmo Pocket and filming yourself, it will automatically keep you in the center of the frame. So you haven't got to keep looking at the camera while you're walking. So if the mood strikes you to film a video while you're out and about walking, you can just take it out, make sure you're in the center, turn the active track on, and then just hold it there while you're walking in a straight line and just talk, and it will automatically keep you in the center of the frame. This thing is absolutely game-changing. Now, yes, I haven't got mine yet, so I can't give you my full rundown, but trust me, I've watched tons of reviews on this thing. I've looked at all the specs of it. I've looked at all the pros and all the cons, and this thing just looks like an absolute game-changer. So I cannot wait to get mine in a couple of days. I've been waiting a, a month for the blooming thing. So I hope it arrives in a couple of days. And then I can give you a full unboxing and full review experience. And there'll be a ton of videos coming out about it. But this is for a creator who is not a professional filmmaker, who doesn't already have all the film gear, who doesn't want to spend $4,000 plus on a professional film setup, who just wants something that is going to give you great video great audio keeps you in frame is stable you can put it in your pocket and you can take it with you anywhere you want to go that is what it's for for families for content creators for for even for filmmakers if you don't want to lug the camera around you can just take this with you i've seen filmmakers go to big massive tech events and the only thing they take with them is the osmo pocket 3 to film on it because of convenience so this is why it's such a good thing now it does have some drawbacks it's not completely durable uh, the the twisty um, monitor on the front, the OLED screen, if you break it, you, it's broken. It's not it's, it's not really repairable. And the same with the gimbal. So you don't really want to drop this thing, and you don't really you can't take it in water because it's not waterproof. But then that's the same for a professional camera. You wouldn't take your Sony ZV-E1 out in the pouring rain or try and throw it underwater and do some underwater filming without a professional housing around it. It's the same principle. You've just got to be very careful and treat this thing like it is incredibly special like it's a vip really so you've got to treat it with love and care so when mine arrives in a couple of days hopefully i will be able to do lots of reviews on it and it will arrive without any issues but i've been waiting a month for this thing and i cannot wait to do some reviews on it but if you want to know more tips and tricks on how to grow on youtube for your business and maximize your income i've just opened my brand new facebook group which is the youtube marketing hub join that in the link below and that's just launched now so we're going to get a load of people in there and hopefully it's going to build a great community for people wanting to grow their business on YouTube. And also don't forget to sign up to my weekly newsletter to receive all the latest tech trends and business trend, growing tech trends for YouTube. Have a great day, everyone. And we look forward to opening the Osmo Pocket 3. I can't wait. Let's go.